Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new, I'm so happy you decided to click on my video. My name is Nina. I am a Norwegian YouTuber doing this in English, so that's the accent if you were wondering. And to all my loyal subscribers and, uh, and the loyal viewers, hi guys. Thank you so much for the comments and the well wishes on my last video, my uh, fall house tour. You seem to really like the video and I'm so happy for that. Um, I was uh, not feeling well. <laughs> uh, we were sick for several uh, weeks. Nothing, uh, nothing serious, just a virus, not the virus as I said, but we were sick for a long time. Uh, still not a hundred percent, but 99. Uh, and you all sent us so much love and well wishes, so thank you so much for that. If you are, if you are not new to my channel, it may not come as a surprise that I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I just love everything that has to do with Harry Potter. So when Halloween is right around the corner, it's easy for me to find a theme for my Harry Potter decor, no, my Halloween decor. And I have kind of started a collection. So the f this is my third year doing this and my first year I made uh, decor from the first video because my grandson had seen the first Harry Potter video. And last year he had gotten one year older so he had seen the second and this year he has seen the third video and the third Harry Potter video is Harry Potter and the, the uh, Prisoner from Azkaban. Uh, as I said, I'm Norwegian so I have both the Norwegian and the English uh, titles in my head. Harry Potter and the Prisoner from Azkaban, I think, is the right uh, name for the third uh, movie. And so this year I am uh, making the core or my Halloween decor is the theme for my uh, Halloween decor this year is the Prisoner from Azkaban. So, um, yeah. Uh, the first thing I have to do is give a huge shout out to a uh, uh, wonderful channel I have found. Um, there are so many talented people out there doing uh, crafts, uh, every kind of craft and I almost always use Pinterest and YouTube, both for inspiration, but also as tutorials. And uh, I have done so this year as well. And the huge shout out I want to give is to a channel called Super Craftalistic. Super Craftalistic. I will link the, or write the name of the channel in the subscription box below. As far as I have been able to figure out, it's a Canadian woman or at least a woman living in Canada, uh, Canada. Uh, and she is so talented. Uh, she makes it look so easy so I hope if you're into Harry Potter, if you're into crafting, uh, please go and check out her channel and if and I, I don't know you don't see uh, the woman making all, I think at least it's a woman, uh, from seeing her hands, uh, I hope so, um, but she doesn't speak, it's just uh, the, the video and it's done to music and now my husband is going to come and disturb me. <clears throat> if you haven't been to my channel before, uh, uh, this is my crafting room. It's a huge, beautiful room. I have a video on uh, uh, how I decorated it, but it's on the, it's kind of the second floor of our garage, and my husband has his kind of uh, 
playroom downstairs, the garage. He's into cars, so yeah, that was him. Okay, where was I? Um, yeah, uh, she's so talented, and uh, I would. Uh, and if you're ever watching this video, thank you so much for the inspiration and uh, for uh, teaching me how to do. Uh, craft with cardboard. I had never done that before actually. Uh, so this is a video where I have used uh, new techniques. Um, and you may wonder when I direct you to her channel why should you watch mine. If you want a detailed uh, de if you want detailed videos on how to make these signs and the hat, uh, you will find uh, good videos on her channel. But um, there are some things you will not find there. You will not find the measurements for uh, or any templates for the signs. I have made that, so that you will get here. And I would also uh, like to tell you uh, my experiences uh, when I made the hat because there are some things that uh, does not come across from her videos but please go and check her out okay guys so as I said um, I am making things or items from uh, the prisoner from Azkaban Azkaban is the prison in the uh, in uh, Harry Potter and uh, the first thing I did and as you can see I made many and I will and I will explain why because that's kind of my take on this it's it's not how to make these lovely signs you can find that on uh, on super craftalistic uh, but it's how I'm going to use them so Here's some footage on uh, when I made the signs. So this is the template or the measurements for the sign. I'll try to link it somewhere uh, uh, with the, this video. I have measured in both centimeters and inches. And this dotted line on the top is the back. The, the sign is made in two parts. This is the front. And uh, the back is just one whole piece of cardboard uh, without the kind of windows. And it's about a centimeter higher than the front of the sign.
so now you may be wondering why I have made so many I have actually made five I may make one more and that's because that's how many we're going to be for dinner on Halloween and I am going to use these signs uh, for two things one is uh, for uh, I'm, I'm uh, going to make some or I have made some um, what do you call it in English posters some wanted posters um, and here is how I did that so I bought these prisoner costumes uh, I could only find the zombie version but uh, we'll only be using it at least the one for the grown-ups grown we will only be using uh, to take pictures so it's okay uh, this one is not so bad and bloody so my grandson can use that on Halloween so that was my first step on Pinterest and Google you will easily be able to find these uh, posters this one is of Sirius Black and this is what I used as kind of a template for my uh, posters. I will use the original ones as well, uh, but this is the one I have uh, used as kind of the beginning of my posters. Uh, it's important to uh, to notice how large this picture is. I measured and found that if I take uh, this length of the picture and div and multiply it with 1.08 then I get how uh, high the photo is uh, supposed to be and this is important when you're uh, going to crop uh, your photo and then later insert inserting it so that was the first thing I did then I took a bunch of photos these are some of the photos I took of my grandson uh, I they fo found it hard to be kind of <laughs> actors but he got it in the end uh, then I cropped the photo to the correct size and I edited it in a photo editing editing uh, program uh, I aged, aged it and some I made black and white and some I made sepia so uh, that's what I've done here I don't think I ended up using this one but and then I just inserted the photo onto the uh, poster and I since I couldn't decide which one I thought was <laughs> the best I just uh, made different ones so I'm going to use uh, all of them I also made one with my son-in-law and I'm going to make uh, of the whole family and uh, then I'm going to plaster these all over and use them in my decor. Okay, so I hope you liked, enjoyed the posters. I am kind of using this as, as my main decor and I'm going to kind of plaster them all over. I have also bought some big posters of um, Sirius Black uh which is kind of the original uh prisoner of Azkaban uh, and I will use that as well and that you will see in my house tour uh, I have also bought uh, a lot of uh, creepy hands skeleton hands and these I'm going to uh, make into uh, the mentor hands and the reason is that these can it's 
the other way around. I hope you can see. These can hold my uh, my signs. And the reason I need something to kind of hold my signs up is because I'm going to use this for my table decorations. I think I'm going to do a separate video on that and in that I will show you how I make this more into the mentor looking hands. There are a lot of very good tutorials on how to make the mentors. I made, I have a video uh, and uh, because I made some last year I think or the year, the year before. Uh, so uh, you can find that here or there are a lot of uh, wonderful videos showing you how to, to make the mentors. Uh, so that is a project and as you see beside me I made the, the this is the sorting hat and if you haven't seen Harry Potter have you been living under a rock? <laughs> you have to do so immediately uh, I promise you will love it or I hope at least you will love it but this is the sorting hat and it's actually from the first video it's one of the first kind of magical things you uh, see in the movie and uh, the sorting hat is uh, the hat that decides which house you're going to live in when you come come to Hogwarts this uh, the school of magic in Harry Potter so they place the hat on uh, every head of the students or the pupils, the children, and the hat uh, kind of uh, looks inside your head and see who you are and which uh, house would be uh, the perfect house for you. And uh, this too, I got uh, the inspiration from and uh, the tutorial from uh, Super Craftalistic and if you go and check her video out which I urge you to do uh, you will see that mine looks a bit different and at first I was a bit disappointed uh, because I thought I, I wasn't quite uh, satisfied with the expression of the face um, and the reason why, and that does not come across in her video, is that uh, I did exactly as she did uh, in her tutorial. But if you see right before she puts on the, the fabric, uh, she has changed the way uh, she has kind of modeled out the face underneath. I actually saw it but I thought that no uh, I can make it look right anyway but I didn't. So uh, I think maybe I'm kind of growing fond of my guy now but <laughs> I think maybe I would do it like hers uh, and change the nose and the mouth but I like the way it, mine kind of maybe looks more like it's in the middle of talking so and I have added some things that she did not have on her hat and let me see if I can lift this off one thing is the kind of flap here behind here and uh, she does not have this and I have covered both inside and out uh, I think she used the and, and I love that she she reused the arms of a jacket I think uh, that had a fabric that looked like uh, faux or fake skin uh, I have I know that the skin that's 
like this it has an English name I don't remember what it is but it's it's not the kind of uh, glossy uh, sleek type of skin is the more not furry but yeah you know what I mean um, I bought a meter of uh, fake a fabric that looks like uh, uh, skin or leather uh, is it called mocha leather mocha leather maybe um, I the fabric was one meter and 40 centimeter wide and I bought a meter and I I have some left but not much so I used a lot uh, so I added I think maybe longer or maybe not she she used her hat as a, a tree topper she made a Harry Potter Christmas tree I love that it's it's hard because it's paper mache and paper and cardboard uh, but I think it's very re realistic looking it fitted me when I when I made it or when I started to make it but I have filled it with so much so now it's it doesn't quite fit but I'm hoping it's going to fit my grandson I think it's it's going to and I love it uh, just uh, it's just cardboard or a thick paper or this kind of poster paper uh, paper mache some uh, aluminium foil uh, some toilet paper and um, glue and the fabric and I I love how it turned out so I hope you will try Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have a week, or not even a week, six days, five days until Halloween. So I will just be kind of crafting on and uh, decorating as fast as I can and getting as many, get as many videos out as I can. I think at least this one and maybe 
and of course my Halloween house tour and I hope I can get at least one or two other videos out so this week crossing my fingers that we are staying healthy and I also injured my hand when I was uh, starting this um, okay guys the the talk about the decor is over so if you're not interesting just uh, thank you so much for watching and please come back and watch my other Halloween videos and for those of you who want to hear the story we have a big boat and when we uh, put the boat on uh, land for the winter we had to kind of cover it with a big tent um, that's I don't know how many meters high but uh, five or six meters high from the ground or something it's a lot of work and it's heavy work because we have to we have to drag this huge plastic um, uh, sheets over it and I was hanging <laughs> in the rope dragging this huge plastic cover over the boat and thinking it's it's good I am a big girl because I can use my weight to kind of being able to drag this heavy uh, plastic over the boat and just as I was thinking that the rope snapped it it uh, uh, it uh, broke and I fell like a log uh, right on the ground. And I don't know if I landed on my hand or if I managed to kind of put my hand first, but on the ground underneath uh, this, all these boats, it's this sharp, big gravel. So my hand was blue from here to here all the way around. I don't know if I have broken something here. I may have. I know I should have gotten, uh, taken some x-rays, but I didn't have time I was going home to make make Halloween decor uh, so yeah finger crossed we will keep healthy stay healthy and not injured and that I will get all my uh, Halloween decor uh, ready in time and the and the videos out for you okay guys I will show you how I use my signs as uh, a part of my table decor, table escape, uh, and how I use everything in uh, in my decor. So until uh, next time, have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful Halloween, or whatever time of the year you're watching this video, and I'll see you in, I hope, uh, just a few days. Bye guys!